Oh, cake defense. Yeah, yeah cake, cake defense. defense. So that, well, cake. I thought the knife was a cake. I didn't think it would stab them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Stick around, make a sound. There's more dumb people town. Hey, townies! Welcome Ooh. to another episode of Dumb, dumb People Town. Town. Population you. Population Adomian. James, James Adomian. Adomian, you're here. We're I'm happy. I love. Yeah, I love the shop glasses you're wearing. Are Thank phenomenal. You. Well, people don't know this. There's a woodworking bench over there. You, and I, you I address welding. the space. Yeah, you, were, uh, you do. do address the <laughs> you space. Yes. That it was here, and you're There's like, I'm sawdust already. flying around. Come on, hey, I love sawdust things. and punchlines uh, <laughs> festival in Laguna. Finally, yeah. sawdust and punchlines. Well, uh, well, okay, you so said, we that was go, like, might be a record. Dead two seconds into Johnny Carson. Can I just say that I was walking down? I was on Hollywood Boulevard. We were going to do a show at the Bourbon Room, and I looked down, and there's a star on for the James. Walk of Fame for Rich Little. And I was like, Rich Little had a wonderful career, thanks yeah. to Johnny Carson and whatnot. He was and I was like, he was a good impre- good impressionist. Yeah, I think he was good. I don't think he's in the same league as James Adomi. And I'm like, James Adomi should have a star on the Hollywood Well, Hollywood And you know what the difference him. is? And James, you're the person who taught me this. I'm going to what's that? It's the difference between doing an impression and comedically creating an, a, a, character a character that sounds on, like that right. person that you infuse your comedy and your take and your accentuations that elevate it from just and i've said this maybe here I've, just I doing know a good version i could it. go out on stage and just say and doug benson and i for, for a really fun reason built a game around it just say lines from movies and yeah. it will crush people go, holy shit he did but, the thing but the comedy like, is what is my what's your take angle what's on your angle? that and that's, and right. that's why it's almost not even an impression it's a character that sounds like and you you were the person who goes you the example you use you go will ferrell's robert goulet is a character it is it's more his comedy and character than it is impression and that's why it's so great right goulet yeah. it has nothing it's like it's it's it's, it's like liminally attached to the real yes. robert goulet and, but person. when you can really combine them like you do where it sounds Actually exactly can, yeah. like that person like you're bernie and william is in, uh, bernie and is imbued, you're bernie sanders as imbued with your comedy that's when it's like well the, fucking, the fun thing about doing bernie was i got to say <laughs> I got to say things that I wanted to happen. Right. Because no, who cares? It's right. my show. Right. Yes. So it would, it would be like, for far too long, psilocybin mushrooms have not only been illegal, but vilified. <laughs> it is time that we provide free shrooms to college students. Not the head. I think you should have to pay for the head, but the stems See? should be free. I love that he's defending. Yeah. And he, one percent it's of the, specific thing. Speci- one percent of the <laughs> stems <laughs> should be that, paid. That, has Bernie the, ever seen your impression? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we 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 did a thing together, and he was he fun? No, he's grumpy. It, yeah. His wife his wife was in the room, and she really liked it. So I was like, "That's all that matters to me." Yes. Right. Then so, said, Bernie, enjoy he's it. protecting his image. I think he's probably you know concerned that he's on the fringe anyway, and he wants to be mainstream as possible. So those are the people to that me, can't take a people joke. People are doing it means you you've hit. Has the Jesse time. Ventura ever seen your Jesse? Yes, Ventura? and he I I, I mention this in stand up occasionally. He uh, he messaged me. Uh, from the bunker. Uh, and you read it via Vodafone. It. Exactly. <laughs> so he, I sent him a video that I had done as him. And then he messaged me. And the, ty- the subject of the letter, the, the <laughs> message, the first Season line was all caps. Ha, 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 ha. That's great. That's and weird. then he goes, you got me. <laughs> and then, surprise, surprise, the next thing was an ask. He goes, you want to come on my podcast? A hundred percent. Yes, yes, yes. We tried to, but it was, turns out it's difficult to arrange a taping with someone who lives off, off the, the grid. grid. Yeah. Off the grid. We went back and forth. I'm not available. When are you available? <laughs> I can't disclose that information. We need to set a time, yeah. Jesse. Yeah. And then we were That's supposed to podcast. actually finally do it because he was going to be in L.A. at the studio. And then day before, he was like, we have to push it. There was a fire in the building. <laughs> And I was like, you're like, like, I believe you, but that's so weird. They're they're trying to stop (laughs) us. They don't want want this summit to happen. The summit. It's a summit. It's a summit. It's a summit. It's It's the Ted Turner, (laughs) Ted DiBiase summit. (laughs) 
all over again. It's the summer of Summit. <laughs> all right, let's go. Rich Little, it. very funny, but doesn't fully embody. He no. had comedy and he was no. funny, but this. I agree. So, so I walked across that and I literally thought of James Adomian that you deserve a star in the Hollywood Walk. Then we of fame. saw you in the world and we said, we miss you and come do this podcast. And here he is. So, Jay, let's get into the story right I'll now. do story number one because the world is still dumb. Oh, what were you going to say? I'm sorry. I, I, the, we're, my generation doesn't become famous. That's, that's, there were fewer people back in the 70s. Yeah, so they the had fewer room. channels. There's no room. I'm not going to be in the Hollywood Star I Walk know. of Fame. I'm going to be in the Playa del Rey. <laughs> so, so, like, Sand fine. Walk of Fame. So, I would fine. say this. Until the tide comes in. If, yes. <laughs> but if, if you had, if Bernie Sanders was a candidate like Walter Mondale in 80, if he was like a legitimate candidate running for residency and Carson was on and they found out that you did a Bernie Sanders. You mean if, they, if the DNC hadn't made him an illegitimate candidate? Correct. I, I go down. Talking about, uh, you're talking <laughs> about Mondale here? Yeah, no, no. I'm talking about Sanders. No. We're saying if if he had been a candidate in 80 running against Reagan oh or whatever. Oh, my God. And then on Carson. And you, if you went on to Carson and did an unbelievable thing and then they found out you did other people. There's 45 you would, you dates You could have had that, that. Yeah. You would have had that massive Pop that what you're saying right now doesn't exist because there is no program you can pop on and just destroy. Not, yeah, everybody's not watching Carson. Right. The, right. The, yeah. There's yeah. no nobody. The eyeballs are all scrambled Over. in different directions. We're scrambled and we're dumber, and and that's what we're all about on this podcast. So this was sent in by Liz Haggerty at Liz Haggerty. Hey, Liz. Uh, travel lodge lost and found. This is the mid year uh, safe for work version of what was stuck in our bodies. So this is the lost and found for at a travel lodge. So and what I'm just did gonna people read you a list. what did people forget at a travel lodge? So you, you think they're their building... dignity? Ah, hey. folks, their child. Do 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 you think <laughs> even worse on purpose? Do you think uh, that they're building new travel lodges? Travel lodge feels such a like they stopped building them in 1964. Because they're like we and don't they're have... either still up or not. And we that's... can't find the font. Have you been For to a Howard Senate? Johnson's? All right, here we go. Uh, no. uh, tra- today's travel lodge has <laughs> revealed. What James? If you're lost in the woods. When you get down the hill out of the woods on that highway and you see a travel lodge, you know, oh, thank God. That means there's a better hotel nearby. <laughs> <laughs> That's their slogan, actually. I don't know. I've never even been to one. They might be great. Right? Uh, they might travel be. Lodge, we've housed more serial killers than you can shake a stick at. That's right. Uh, travel Lodge has revealed some of the interesting items left behind in its 580 UK-based hotels during the last 12 oh, months. That, that, travel that, Lodge, don't sit on our bedspreads. With how many people? <laughs> travel Lodge, we won't leave the light on for you. <laughs> and and thank for, you. for good reason. The light reason. doesn't work. <laughs> Travel Lodge. Those bags are pretty strong. They can hold even body parts. That's but they right. have no brand identity. They might be great. They might be great. I don't even know. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Travel Lodge. Our cups aren't plastic. Uh, I want to know what their Masonic connections are. <laughs> it's a lodge for travelers. <laughs> and and then Time what? travel. <laughs> <laughs> Travel Lodge, we still have keys. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm right. sure and they might. Do. I don't need a key card reading all my information from my School and key, there it is. It goes all the way to the top. <laughs> Travel Lodge, you can park right in front of your room. <laughs> Travel Lodge, we'll bury it for you. <laughs> Travel Lodge, don't worry about the stains. Uh-huh. Um, all right, here we go. How many people annually stay at a Travel Lodge hotel across the length and breadth of the United Kingdom? United Kingdom. Just 500? Annually. 500 people? No, they you know have 500 many, many, They have 580 hotels. hotels. Mm, I don't God. know. The average person stays there. I'm going to say 250,000 people, and that might be low. I'm going to say 180,000. Um, right. Uh, I'm going to say half quid. Half quid. <laughs> okay. Half quid. Okay. <laughs> How about 19 million people? What? Yeah. Way low. Okay. So detail below. It's more than a half quid. Some yeah. other. In not it. Not a hotel, yeah. In it. In it. In it. This more is than a half quid. In it. <laughs> Ricky Gervais. All right. Some of the uh, unusual treasure customers have forgotten to take. Keys to a Sunseeker Hawk. Oh, wait. We're going down the list now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. List. So this is the lost and found. Lost Mid-year and lost found. and found. And Mid-year then, lost and found. And just. It is nobody found all these things were stuck up in someone's anus. Yes. Okay, right, okay. Yeah, well, they might show up at uh, the end of this year. When right. we... Okay. Keys to a Sunseeker Hawk 38 powerboat. Whoa. What? That's not. That well, why would you cheat? Che- okay, fine. A Hong Bao, which is a Chinese wedding envelope containing how much Chinese yawn? Oh, like. Oh, oh, like the little gift envelope. Yes. Yeah. yes. How much yawn That's, is. They've like... got their own emoji. Yeah. Yes. I would say. 80,000 yawn. 100,000. Uh, 
God. Okay, so quid? yeah, Half sure. Quid. Yeah, it's a um, uh, too bad. Um, 50 fifty fifty k quid. Fifty k quid. Fifty k quid. Ten thousand Chinese yuan. Okay, okay. It's still a lot. I a don't know. If five that's generation right. family cookbook heirloom. That's sad, dude. Family cookbook. You, you know that that's that? cursive writing. You know someone's husband is getting so much shit for so that. Many oh, Jello yeah. molds. Where's the cookbook? Where'd you do How with long it? Did you, you put it on the shelf. Five generations. Yeah, that's Jello molds and casseroles and so oxtail. A life size cutout of Jurgen Klopp. Who's Jurgen Klopp? Klopp? He's the coach How of big Liverpool. Is he? He's the coach of Liverpool. <laughs> oh, soccer. Oh, okay. Jurgen Klopp sounds like a little Golden Book character. Yeah, yeah no, that's gonna come up. That's gonna come up. Save him! Save him! I, I'm going. I'm going Freddie Mercury. <laughs> no, Rand's got you. Rand's got you. Uh, it it's great television. It, well, it is good TV. I guess I should straight up play with it. Is that the answer? You can do whatever you want. You got Man, this. I don't know if you know what you're doing. I don't know. Yeah. All right, yeah. you got it. And we're Boom. back. Okay. I think I've done this at another uh, All Things Comedy tape. <laughs> it happens. I think I've done the same thing <laughs> at a different table. A Queen Elizabeth II Platinum Jubilee doll. What? Leave that it. definitely belongs doll? to an adult. Don't leave it. Leave it. They said leave it. A Thank Lego God. Technique Ferrari 488 GTE. You put that together and left it at the hotel? This is Alan this. Moore did specifically. Are you ready for the together. saddest one of all? Let's see. A Wedding sleigh ring. full of Christmas <laughs> presents. A sleigh full of Christmas presents. A sleigh? sleigh full of Christmas presents. The old school Christmas in the UK. I mean, come on. A how many full feet? Full of Christmas, bit drunk. <laughs> 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 any, any? Oh, we forgot the sleigh. <laughs> oh, Ooh, we the sleigh. We? All right. A how many foot Chinese temple birdhouse? Ten foot. <laughs> Build a Chinese temple birdhouse in your soul. A man will fish forever. Uh, seven feet. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a, a 10 meters. 10 meters. Big, That's big. a 30 foot Chinese. Right. Uh, get your answers in. It's a five foot Chinese. Okay. I was close. Yeah. Seven feet. Yeah. A Desai, I really thought it was plausible. <clears throat> a Desai Pro LED phototherapy mask. A box of personalized Viennese snow globes. Oh, Personalized. Yeah. That's... An oil painting of Queen Elizabeth II. Who is traveling with an oil painting of they the Queen? It. He, on the t- on, they on bought the it holiday. on holiday. That's right. Here, okay. They went on taking. This brings up a thing I want to ask. As touring comedians, how many times do you sweep the room before you leave? Oh, yes. always. And I still how, forget. I, I've lost shit. I've lost shit. I have to. Usually mm-hmm. the thing you lose court. the most are bandanas and sunglasses. <laughs> yes. Yes. I always. just replaced these. I love um, but you, yeah, I'll, you lose I'll, I'll, shit. I'll use a straight cord or something like that. But like, this is why you make your hotel bed too, because you know something could have get lost in the shuffle Thank of the you. blanket. Like, Dan I don't say make it, but like throw it out shake over and it just, out. Yeah, shake anti-make it. Out. it. I, look it around, pile it I look around. Pile it up. I look around. Strip it. I like to strip it. They don't. That you can't even go under. Like, yeah. I'll still be like, let me just make sure nothing. Like. You're, I'm the, going into rooms that aren't mine. You gotta sweep the room. Yeah, the maid didn't steal it. You forgot. Sometimes forgot I'll get all the way. Luggage is outside of the room. I tend to always keep my key with me in case for some reason I have to run back yep. up there. Yep. And uh, I'll get everything out of the room, and then I'll go. I'm gonna go one more time. I'm just gonna go through and you pull find back six the shower things. curtain, look under the sink. There's the dead body. Yeah. This is my favorite time of day, by the way. Uh, as a frequent traveler is checkout time. Yeah. The clumbering of bags oh, and God. like the door closes and there's bags on either side of a closed James. door that you don't have a key to oh, anymore. Yes. Oh, uh, it's my favorite time of day. That's great. What I don't understand is the people who do Stress check out, out, who stand in line to go, we're leaving. <laughs> you don't have to you check do, out. I just want to tell anybody who may not know this. You don't, you you don't, don't have, have to, to check, check out. out. You just leave. You can throw your keys at the front desk as you're walking out. Or throw them away at TSA like I do. Like you, I do every time. You you just leave. That's like there someone are, at a dinner party is like, I'm going to go take a pee. You're like, I'm okay. I'm in Vegas. Go. And I, there's a checkout line. Whatever you did in that room, you're like, oh, well, we they'll, drank, they'll we, charge we you drank for some it. of the wine. Don't worry. They'll charge They'll you charge it. you for it. My thought was that I was there trying to like like plausibly pretend that I was out at 11 a.m. even mm-hmm. though it's now like noon. Yeah. Yeah. And be like and be like, yeah, yeah, I just enjoyed some other facilities after I checked out a <laughs> right. uh, you know, just a mere line, formality to hand the key I over. I was to in you. line at 11. This line is crazy. <laughs> the line <laughs> can't make you late. The line can't make you just late. Leave. Uh, all right, line. these are items that were left behind in a travel lodge. An oxygen tank. What? <laughs> 
I need that. You got to need A that. pilot's license. Wait what? a minute. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. And then he took off. Wonk, wonk, wonk. <laughs> uh, a 50-year-old Paddington bear. That's sad. That is a sad... <laughs> that is, no, that's an adult's bear. Also, know, that makes me more a 50-year-old Paddington bear, he's gone gray. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's started jaded. to sag a little bit around his pouch. He's yeah, jaded. A little he's jaded. Paddington. <laughs> Paddington. <laughs> Paddington. He's like, I don't care, man. What's Do whatever. What's seen one train station? You've really seen, <laughs> seen them them all. Yeah. <laughs> They're all the same. Because I got sick of wearing it. That's why I don't have the hat on, okay? I, I don't even want the honeypot. Yeah. Uh, I'm wearing my galoshes and they never seems to rain. <laughs> He's sad that it's not I raining. don't even like me hat. Uh, a barrister's wig and gown. Wait, how is he going to do the show up to work in like Bermuda so, shorts? What? <laughs> this is all. This is all one stay from Benny Hill. It was a Benny Hill yeah, 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 sketch. Yeah. Yes. That he was like, he had, he oh had to get God. out of there fast, so he left the <laughs> barrister. <laughs> Framed <laughs> wedding vows from 1946. Oh my oh, God! That was their. They got him after the funeral. Got, you, where'd you guys get married at a travel lodge? Probably. A suitcase full of Queen Elizabeth II Platinum Jubilee memorabilia. Some they that, sell this shit at yes. gas stations. Right. Like you. we have right. petrol, oh, petrol you. filling stations, and we have and NASCAR stuff in there. We they have, have like shit. tiger, like tiger prints that you can buy. They, they have, have the glow in the dark. They have glow in the dark Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> A forgetful so chief executive sent his assistant how many miles to walking central. Travelage to pick up his new John personalized number license plate, which he accidentally left his hotel room. You're sending your, you have a personal assistant. You're staying at the Travelodge. Travel First I of all, they might be nice. I don't know. They Dan. might be nice. Look, if it's a, if it's your license plate, you do need it. Two hundred and forty-seven miles. Two hundred forty-seven miles. Uh, well, it's got to be. Yeah, it's. I'm gonna say three hundred and ten kilometers. kilometers. <laughs> I will go a hundred kilometers. It's in miles. So. Oh, it is in miles. Yeah, they, they, oh, well, they then never mind. I'll convert it to hundred miles. Math. It's the same distance. Hundred miles, two forty-seven. Uh, okay, yes. Yeah, so what is? What did I give you? That's, uh, that's about a hundred miles. Hundred miles. You guys both said hundred. All right. Well, here we go. Someone is very close. Two hundred and fifty miles. Thank you. You sent your assistant for okay. So two forty-seven. I was three yeah, off. Yeah. Shaquilla Ahmed, travel lodge spokeswoman, said with nearly uh, we we said how many customers are there? Uh, thousands of different reasons. We get a range of interesting items left behind during twenty twenty-two. This included a portfolio of tattoo artwork, a three-meter long Longwu Chinese dragon. Whoa. What? An actual dragon? An animal? An animal. <laughs> You're like, where's no. my dragon? How long is it? <laughs> Honey, you've got the dragon. Three right? meters. Nine Three. feet. So are you sure that that's not a dragon that people carry through the streets? It could like be. Like a paper mache cardboard I want it to be a real dragon. <laughs> if this was all one room, that is a great fucking party. A replica. It's, uh, it's Falcor. It, uh, I'm a luck dragon. Yeah, you go. Uh, yeah, they're right. A, a replica of Queen Elizabeth's state imperial crown. A pair of segues. Really? They left him in the room, a pair of segues. Well, then they've guessed that they just uh, clumsily transitioned between a few sentences. <laughs> Randy, Randy, I believe in you, Randy. I don't. Why not? Do Let him hold it. Yeah, what if I just, uh, I'll keep it anchored on the ground. There All right, go. here we go. Just, Grounded. Just Grounded. This Grounded. We'll fix it. I, I don't, don't. No, I like him rolling this An way. LFC wedding cake. What? LFC? What does that mean? Los London Fielders Fighting Championship. Championship. Leeds, Leeds Football Club. London fighting. Leicester. Teams. Leicester. What'd you say? Leicester. Leicester, football Leicester football 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 London football. fighting. Uh, and a pair of Japanese chin puppies called J Lo and Ben. A couple hey, of wait. Japanese chin puppies. You know, and how, about, a pair of, how about a Japanese <laughs> chin puppy? I gave her a Japanese chin puppy. <laughs> Take me out, Japanese chin puppy style. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> a ja what is a Japanese chin what puppy? What is a Japanese chin puppy? But by the way, that does Dan. sound like a, a phrase Tom Likas would use. <laughs> gave that woman an old Japanese, uh, Japanese chin puppy. And she, if you, or if you're going to solve a, or there's only one way to get out, and that's a Japanese chin Chid puppy. Or it's his term for breasts. Let me see those oh, Japanese right. chid puppies. <laughs> Look at her. I told this woman. <laughs> Show me the chid puppies. If she's a woman, then she loves to beg, baby. Woof, woof, woof. Tom, the Tom Likas character. <laughs> Isn't even a character. Shout out those Japanese chip. <laughs> He's a real person. No. And you're barely characterizing him. It's a one for one almost. Like, I bet he would see it and he'd be like, He's not going far enough. He doesn't like me. He, he blocked, doesn't like you. He, he knows blocked me. Well, you're a yeah. 
<laughs> I blocked Trump. And then he blocked. I don't have a sense of humor. About he this. blocked me, and then, of course, I don't. Of course, he did. What are we going to go hang out? <laughs> right. Yeah, no. Right, right. Uh, no. But one time right. I saw him in LAX. I swear to God, I was I was ninety-eight and a half percent sure it was Tom Likas. Yeah. Because I had met him once before sure, when I was God. in college, God. but uh, I was too embarrassed. I wanted to be like, "Are you Tom Likas?" But in like the one and a half percent chance it wasn't him, I thought, "What a terrible insult to some yeah. old man who's yeah. in bad health." <laughs> but if Are you, you walk Tom Likas? Oh my God! Where's you your jazzy? They you used go, to say I looked hey. like Paul Newman. Yeah. <laughs> you go walk up to him and you're like, "Hey, Dad." Hello, son. <laughs> <laughs> For people who don't know, uh, that's part do of the gimmick care? with him. Yeah. That's all you, real. I don't care. Oh, I don't care. Japanese chin puppies are taking us to the break. That's story number one. Taking us to the break. Japanese uh, TVK has got story number two. Yeah, we'll yeah, come yeah, back. Yeah. We'll find out how you can support uh, this wonderful James man, and James Domian, and Domian, where you can see us, the three of us, performing, do our things. It's Dumb People Town with James and Domian. Don't go anywhere. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the show. Uh, yeah, this was, I mean... Look, at the beginning of the year, we do stuff that was found inside of us, and this we just did uh, stuff that was found, found inside, inside, our our inside our travel. You know, I call my anus the travel lodge. Hey, oh. Uh, it's an early checkout. Uh, so, uh, James, <laughs> James you, Adomi. You can is, always check in. You can you check in, everyone. You can and never leave. And you can I am Modium AD. Hey. hey. Uh, stopping up. Uh, Jay, let's talk about. Sorry, what, it's Imodium uh, Common Era now. Common, yeah, is that what it is? Yep. They, 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 they dropped changed AD. AD. Thank That's you. smart. Thank God. That's really smart. That's more inclusive. CE, that's so funny. All right, so Jay and I, uh, we can tell you that this is dropping. I talked to Aaron. This is dropping on on August 1st. Hey. Uh, happy birthday to you in four days, Daniel. Thanks, buddy. Happy uh, birthday to your daughter. Thank you. On three days. And so Jay and I, tonight, we'll be at Largo. Happy we're birthday doing, to Rory. We're doing Tag It, where uh, our friends do their stand-up sets, and Jason and I are on the side just uh, Love coming Tag up with jokes. Have so, you done Tag It with them yet? Uh, what, is, at the Improv? So no, you this come is, up, do your set, and then when you get done, they join you on stage and give you all the funny tags they, they thought pitch of you while tags you were while doing you were it. On the stage. And it's, then you just sort of it ends up become a friend comedy. Like what happens in a green room, the audience gets to see. Fun. It's so yeah, much like, fun. No, I did. Did we do it at Moon Tower? Maybe? Yes, we, we did, did do, do it at Moon Tower. Tower. That's it. Oh my god, so it. fun. So we're gonna do it at Largo. I know we have Pete Holmes on the show, and we're sort of working on other folks. Ah! But... <laughs> it's such a good feel. <laughs> so it's got that going on. And then, uh, hey, we're going to be at the Huntington Beach Rec Room, I believe. On the 12th. On the 12th of uh, August. And then we've got dates coming up this fall. Ann, Ann Ar Arbor, Fort, Fort Collins, Collins uh, Springfield, Missouri. All that stuff. And then we just added uh, Portland and Seattle in January. Portland on January 4th and Seattle on nice. the 5th. And December 1st, where are we going? Oh, somewhere cool. Are those tickets on sale? Yeah. So first, I think, is Cleveland. Cleveland. Hilarities. Hilarities. Two nights. I love it. Club. I love Hilarities. We love this. Supersquires.com. We'll put all of it on there. We love you guys. We'll see you at all those shows. And who knows? Maybe we'll be doing our uh, two-man show that we did last week at uh, the Dynasty Typewriter somewhere off-Broadway. You never know. That's Daniel, great. where can people see you? Go to DanielVanKirk.com to find out when my monthly show that I do in Houston with Andrew Youngblood is. You can also be up to date on Best Bet Comedy, which is my show with Irene, too, that I do here in Los Angeles every single month. Plus, I'm coming to uh, Boston and Austin, Texas. But the big one. Las Vegas and, uh, yeah, a whole bunch of other dates as well. But the big one is 11, 11, 23. It's a Saturday night, Chicago, Illinois, the Lincoln Lodge. It's my special taping and my next album recording. I would love it if everybody came out to that. I don't know if tickets are on sale yet for that, but you can still put it in your calendar and tell yourself Make you're going to wish. Come hang. And I imagine after the shows, after that second show, I will find a bar in Chicago I love. That, and, or, that uh, you can order deep dish pizza People too. can roll into that and mm -hmm. tell me that they liked it, I hope. Yeah. So everything is at DanielVanKirk.com. Lincoln Lodge is a fun place. I great, great is room. Mark, is Mark Geary still doing it? I don't know. <laughs> well, Geary. cut it out if he isn't. Yeah, no, no, if yeah. he is. Um, uh, James, James, James where, how can people see you? Are you touring around? Available for bookings, uh, Good. which is a building season, uh, mm -hmm. which is a regenerative uh, sure. season in the, in the team's history. Uh -huh. uh, I am gearing, I'm coming from being flat on the ground to gearing up to just a powerhouse momentum. Great. Yes. I love it. We're doing a taping of a stand-up special. We're tired of taking no for an answer. I'm saying no to myself now. Okay. All right. I'm, pa I'm taping my own stand-up special. And uh, rejecting it. Here in LA, and I'm rejecting my own stand-up <laughs> special. <laughs> Great idea. I've decided to take the power in my own hands. Power of no. Sometimes so, the no is better than a yes. I'm taping it. I'm shopping it around just to me and, and other gonna, Adomians. And, you're and reject the answer it. is going to be no. No, and that's the answer. But we're taping it September 14th at the Elysian Theater. There's I love be that shows. theater. 
It's a beautiful space. And uh, I'm doing a bunch of regional shows around California uh, to get get ready for that. I'll be uh, in... Uh, I, it's not quite booked yet, but I'll be around California, some different places outside of L.A., a lot of L.A. shows leading up to that. And uh, it's pro- probably going to be at the end of August in Atlanta and in a, a bunch of other southeastern uh, uh, cities near Atlanta. Um, this is all coming together now. So as of August 1st, uh, try me on Instagram at Jadomian. Uh, J-A-D-O-M-I-A-N uh, You can find me with similar handles on Mastodon uh, yeah. You can find Look me up on uh, Truth Social no, Oh wait, hang um, on a second Hold on. Hang on what? Wait, wait why? Why? I'm just kidding uh, No, <laughs> I should get it so nobody else does, right? Yeah, you you should. should I meant to say counter social, actually Claim them um, There is a website, jamesadomian.com Defunct Let's see if I have it up and running uh, Ahead of my uh, Get it up and <laughs> running My, uh, my special taping uh, This is a good fire underneath me Let's go. Yes. I'm promoing it now. Yes. It gives me gonna, three weeks to pull it together. You get it going. Like Jamesadomian.com, maybe or maybe not. Check Elysian it. Theater, 914 for sure. Still not purchasable as a special. Definitely. Oh, okay. No. It's going it, to be a special. It. All right. It. Let's jump into another story, Dan. One thing I forgot to tell people, yeah. and I, this is very important for our townies, any show of mine that you come to on the road, bring a Dumb People Town headline uh, or a Pen Pals letter, if you know what that means. Google it if you don't. But I love you, townies. I do a part in my show where I come out and just talk to you guys and you read me a headline. I love that. And that's and how hey, I serve the algorithm. Also, join our Patreon. We have great extra oh stuff God. there for I you love guys. Our Five Patreon. bucks a month. Easy. Right. You uh, Also, if you're going to go see a Dan Van Kirk show live, uh, bring a tarp. Mm-hmm. Bring right. a plastic tarp. It gets a wet lot in the front room. row. Hey. Gallagher died, and I stepped in. <laughs> Someone took over. Someone well, had, it's me and his brother. We're he, currently in a legal battle. the melody. Here we go. <laughs> Sent in by Dan Leon at Designer 1973. Oh, hope that's his aesthetic or theirs. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, this story is just one of those things. If we were walking through Dumb People Town later on, you go see her over there. She's yeah. the woman who blank. Okay, okay. we can't okay. wait. An Ohio woman thinks Bigfoot has returned to the wilderness near her home, and she believes she has audio proof. He didn't leave the woods. What do you think? He was on, he went to college, and now he's back. He took a summer internship. He did a gap year. He did a gap year. He took a sabbatical. This is the first time I've ever recorded Harl's. Suzanne Farinakak said. Farinakak. Farinakak. Farinakak is not a real name. Farinakak. Yeah, it sounds like Dorothy's a Bornax neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne You'd Farinakak. You'd love if I never heard it. Farinakak. Farinakak. I know I'm probably saying it wrong, but I did my best. What are those birds that keep making that noise? They're Farinakaks. Are they Farinakaks? Yeah, they're so loud. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. God damn I mean those Farinakaks. Get them out of they the They wake tree. me up. The two minute long recording. Keep listening. <laughs> Can't you already picture? I just want her with I, a I boom were, mic, a boom mic out in the. A little. Just, I pictured one of zoom. you by this point. Werner Herzog is like Werner Herzog. Burn this. He's the only. No one should ever listen <laughs> to this. He's the only one who's like the Rolling Stones audio. watching Altamont. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, that's what happened. Uh, yeah. That's it right there. Too many long the cue. Babies, oh, no. why are we fighting? Babies, oh, no. why are we fighting? This is from Come the two minute long man. recording, which Calm she shared down. with. <laughs> She shared with the Mansfield News Journal, who I blame because they ran with it. This yeah, is from I MansfieldNewsJournal.com. Mean, story now. It's which is part of the USA Today Network. Guys, it's not what? that hard to make the news. No. Uh, she says it captures the sound of an unidentified creature howling in the distance. It's you a mean dog. A, a wolf? Right. A coyote? This dog. is a, like a hear and say or whatever. Right. Fernicac who says she has encountered Bigfoot in her area before, says it's a Bigfoot creature. How has she encountered him before? Well, I, we might we had that. a brief relationship. <laughs> Believe it or not, other he, wildlife experts aren't so certain. Believe oh, it or not. I, I, I don't, that's mean, I don't believe that. that. A group of, but they did say wildlife experts aren't so certain. A group uh-huh. of workers, I, I really wish it was scientists, at a nearby Mohican State Park suggested the sound could have simply been an alpha male coyote calling its pack. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Nope. I mean... I could see this going both ways. You've got on one <laughs> hand unidentified sounds. Uh-huh. Yes. On the other hand, an alpha male. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, Jesse, the conspiracy is going to get thicker for you oh, because God. she in. plans to discuss her encounters during Bigfoot Base Camp Weekend, which, is, which concludes on September 11th. At Pleasant Hill I mean, Lake Park Jesse, in Ohio. Jesse, what, what are the connections there? 
Well, that's the kind of we knew we knew it. We've seen the documents going back decades. I would <laughs> say this recording is an inside job. Fernicak says she first caught a glimpse of Bigfoot when it allegedly jumped over a back road southeast of Loudon, oh, Loudonville, Ohio, jumped over the in road. May of 2013. Yeah. Well. Her description of the seven and a half foot tall hairy beast matches those commonly used to depict creatures known as Sasquatch, Yeti, and Grassman. How do so we know true. it wasn't Harry from Harry and the Hendersons? <laughs> oh, that's the saddest ending of a movie. John Lithgow was chasing. Get out of here! I can't. Get out of here! Don't you Get see? We here. don't want you, <laughs> Harry. Come back! We don't like you anymore. Don't you see? You're not one of us, and uh, you can't dance. Oh, I tell you, I can tear up. Sorry. Dan, wait, Grassman? Have we ever heard that one? Did they call it Grassman? It I says, thought Grassman was Seth Rogen. She so, describes a grass commonly a used to depict creatures, <laughs> creatures known as Sasquatch, Yeti, and Grassman. I've never heard Grassman. I've never heard Grassman. Those are Grassman also, is the weed dealer in 1971. Right? Yeah. Yeah. These are just street names in Portland. Yeah. Do you have a Grassman <laughs> yeah. in Portland? Yes, hey, it's the Grassman. Then they go, she, she calls it Bigfoot. Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> she can lift on Yeti and then make a right on Grassman. And then you want to see her? You'll be yes, inside Paul Book still. Fernicak. Mrs. Fernicak. Oh, God. This yeah, is Mrs. Fernicak. She's got a giant foot. I do like her. Would you call it big? I would say giant. Uh, this is a woman who's never n- not on Facebook. <laughs> I agree. Like, she literally has that app open on her phone. She is also time. addicted to the show Is It Cake? <laughs> My daughter loves Is It, it Turns cake. out she's cake. Loves Is It Cake. I've watched every goddamn episode, and I'm Rand. like, why are we not what on it? What is that for you, Rand? I'm like, <laughs> we have to is be it on cake it. every time? I want to be on it. No, it's How brilliant. How do we get on Is It Cake? I want to be in, on You guys it. could get on it. Jade Cotapretta was on Is It Cake, and I, I love Jade Cotapretta, yeah, but, but I'm saying, we deserve to be you on could too. Can, you counsel, do I understand that your client is pleading not guilty because he thought that the victim was a cake <laughs> yeah that's right he, he tried to cut it up slice yeah. that by the way that is definitely going to happen oh cake defense yeah, yeah cake, cake defense, defense. So that, well cake. i thought the knife was a cake i didn't think it would stab them <laughs> 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 oh my god that is the other way to all... and then the judge actually is cake <laughs> <And you're> in... <laughs> oh. mikey day is cake all okay right. uh the sh- shirt she's wearing says the citizen science sasquatch inquiry that is so many Citizens... opposing themes this woman has so many military vests her rural home just an hour's drive from columbus ohio oh, so many things oh, yeah. are about an hour's drive from right, columbus exactly ohio. is also a prime habitat for bigfoot she concluded sure. her research culminated in a movie the back 80 which was released no. in 2017 i the guarantee back you it's amazon Prime. what's yes it dan what's it called the back 80 for brady i love that movie. Yeah, i love that movie that's what they try to get in through the back door uh-huh. uh I, when i see this woman i just want to ask her one question how's the horde going <laughs> right if you're gonna get out of the back 80 you're gonna need some japanese chin <laughs> Oh. I had a Japanese chip up. Get out of the back 80. Get out of the back 80. You know what I mean? She reuses to go containers. Yeah. And I don't have a problem with that, but I'm, I'm saying she that. does it. She orders a drink for the road. For several go. years, Fair and Cack. And I, if you are hearing this, she has and a basement I say your name, under I'm the sorry. basement. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you mean same. the basement basement? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For several years, Farron Cack said there were knocks and howls around her home and sightings in the woods behind her property. Mm-hmm. Then all the activity stopped. It was like, well, wow, where did it go? Mm-hmm. To make sure she didn't miss documenting any potential encounters, she bought an audio recorder for her backyard. Sure. Buy a trail cam. Nope. Nope. Audio nope, recording. Nope, 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 nope. It's nope. almost, you, somebody said Memento earlier in yeah. a different episode. Yeah. It is where, spoiler alert for the next 30 seconds, he realizes that he's caught this guy over and over and over, so he just wants to forget to find a John G. He doesn't want his thing to come to an end. I know. You only buy an audio recording when you want if you keep, don't want keep it. a certain level of mystery. Yes, for yourself. Plausible, mm-hmm. in, doubt. ignorant denial. Give yourself, exactly. Plausible doubt. Well, to me, it sounded like. It's not a very expensive recorder. That's also, if you're going to go with a recorder. Dude. It's not a, if I'm out, I always ring for a sure. Yeah, if right. I'm out, I always have a recorder going. I've been doing this for how, how long? long? How long has she been doing the recording aspect? Is she, is she, she only turns on when she's out as though Bigfoot then wouldn't be out mm-hmm. and about. If I mean, you're, I don't well, get he all waits for her to be out. James Murphy on this, but she checks the tapes every night. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, the cassette tapes. I think there. I how think long? How many years has she been seven doing? Seven years. I'm recording. James. Wait, so, oh. she's I, okay. <laughs> You've looked. She at has her. nothing else going on nope. here. No. She's been recording for eleven years. I say seven years. So this is like that. This American Life that we listened to, where the father was 
thought his kid was getting into like drugs and alcohol because the grades went down. So he started secretly tapping the phone and uh -huh. listening to their conversations. Uh -huh. So he would have to listen to hours of, of just, just phone, dumb. inane teen phone conversations trying to hear. And, and the then, teen found out. No, then it. there was like a windstorm and the panel peeled back a little and the teen figured out that the dad was doing it. So then the teen started kept having conversations but steering it away like i've tried drugs but now i don't want to do drugs anymore meanwhile he was doing drugs it was a scam to scam the scammer but what i'm it's saying like kgb cia yes. games. it is we know we are being tapped we will lead them down the wrong mislead, direction right take them but so what's Siberia. crazy is the dad had to sit there and listen to like hours of teen thing that's what this woman has to do yeah. what is Just, he like the conversation gene hackman yeah. right yes. in the conversation yeah yes. <laughs> so she's just listening to hours of whippoorwills of just nothing right uh, i'm gonna say she's been doing this for six years she's been doing so. this for nine years wow split them boys wow James. wow her audio catalog now contains more than 20,000 hours of teenagers talking That's from her backyard. <laughs> yeah. In all that time, I had not recorded anything decent, Farron Cack said. Mm -hmm. That changed when something finally broke its silence on July 3rd. You know, she Most slowed it down. Yeah, no, it's Bigfoot being like, Ooh. stop with the fireworks. Yeah. Ooh. Most evenings, Farron Cack will hang out in a campsite area she maintains near the woods behind her home. She takes friends there and will build a campfire alone if nobody else can make it. That's a lot of campfires alone. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. She was at the campsite the first weekend of July. <laughs> if nobody can make it to the campfire, yeah. <laughs> what you're supposed to do is not do the campfire and get sad and depressed and yeah, have right. a beer by yourself. Yes. Alone. In but the in the yard or yeah. inside. Not, don't do the, the thing, thing alone. Yes. Right. You're don't. just meant to be alone and depressed. And right. and have a bad night. It's abducted. Okay. You're like an inv you're a buffet to an abductor. Well, she's at the campsite alone mm -hmm. the first weekend of July. Earlier that night, there had been a ton of fireworks. Local people were blasting off fireworks in the mm -hmm. valley. Oh, my God. He really Local is going to say people. stop. Yeah. Baron Kak uh, said there were big booms. Now, you don't describe how fireworks work. We get it. She kept for? stoking the fire. Which... The Bigfoot broke the sound barrier. <laughs> <laughs> she kept stoking the he fire. He could have just been flatulating. Which is also concord. what <laughs> this new organization is doing by giving her time. She was stoking the fire Saturday became Sunday there then there was a howl it was the 3rd of July at 3:42 a.m. suddenly she heard a howl then another you hear some howls then you hear a chorus of coyotes and then you hear howls again so that's you, a coyote i know yeah a coyote reaching out to other coyotes dummy. she immediately thought it was bigfoot <laughs> Because she wanted to be Kyle she, Casey, who's probably had enough of her. Yeah. I'm already guessing. Dan, do you believe in these UFO videos? 100. percent You do. Well, they're yes. They're unidentified flying objects. Do you think they're like spaceships? Mm -hmm. The only thing you start yeah. they're spaceships that always show up around secret military Air Force bases. Well, not now. This the only thing that I well that it starts to get into is are there is it like beings from other planets in our solar system or some people are saying. You know, time and space time is all travelers. relative. Yes. Is it there some other sort of like... coming from like a distant future. Yes, or another dimension. More plausible. Easier to get here. I would agree. Easier to fold time than it is to uh, travel. Get that, that commute from yes. Alpha Centauri. You're mm -hmm. exactly Thank right. You. Amen. This, that, that was a real space conversation. Space traffic. Jack and I up would along have it the uh, space yeah. highway from Alpha Centauri. You're going <laughs> to see some real space dust. <laughs> <laughs> in the third lane. There's a Kyle Casey. By Pluto. Right. A naturalist. At nearby Mohican State Park. Is that scientist? Or Mohican State Park. <laughs> Naturalist. Is that scientist or nudist? That's nudist. It's guy who doesn't wear clothes. He's a scientist who doesn't wear clothes. Dan. It's guy who pees in his backyard. I'm genuinely asking. Do you know? Naturalist is, is you nudist. You know, it's nudist. It's not a nudist. A naturalist is like not. It's below the level of scientist. It doesn't rise to the level of scientist. But it's like it's like nurse prash teacher. It's like a high school science teacher. It's like the paralegal of scientists. I'm gonna look Henry David Thoreau enthusiast. Right. Sure. Sauntering around in the woods. So you got a degree in naturalism? No. no I don't believe in degrees. You know, I'm a healer. I'm Kyle Casey, a naturalist at nearby I'm Mohegan a life coach. State yeah. Park, said he and other colleagues listened to the audio recording published by the Manfield News Journal, which is on them, and compared it to recordings of other animals. This is like how they got the Tyrannosaurus roar mm -hmm. in Jurassic. It's just a whole bunch of animals. An yeah. expert in or student of natural history. Without clothes. Yeah. The closest thing that we believe it would be is the call, Randy Sklar, of an alpha male coyote. Thank you. I You're hear welcome. the alpha male. 
Casey told USA Today, it's a coyote calling its pack. Thank but Casey, <laughs> like end of story, end of story, shut this bitch up. Like shit. it really, it's like cut her down. Well, here's the only thing she needs because Casey went on to say that the match wasn't quite exact. That's all she needs. That's all she needs. Just right. a shadow of doubt. Either way, now that Farinek, Farinkak believes Bigfoot has returned to her valley, she plans to purchase a more expensive audio recorder. Get a video. I know. Because she's like, does she know, Dan, that video also, a thing? video also records audio? I don't think she understands that. <laughs> it's one Dan. or the other. Someone needs to explain that to her. Uh, not as a conspiracy not theory. Just video. Just get just basic Buster Keaton era technology. Yeah. Yes. She doesn't understand that. Both. We yes. can do talkies now. Um, I'm going to give, give you a little teaser for the last story. It's just understand like when you shoot a gun that it's going to go somewhere, especially if you miss. Just this, understand that, that, that. I do. Okay? People should understand. Keep that, that. in mind. We like, always people, ask that. If you shoot a bullet shoot in, in the, the sky, sky, it's going to come down at some point. It doesn't just get lodged into a mm-hmm. cloud. All right. Just keep that in mind. All that is going to happen on the other side of the break. James and Domi is with us. We'll be right back. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Domi people town. Hey, gang. Uh, welcome hey gang. back to the show. I got one more story. I'm going to take us home. Take us, Ready? Home. This is take sent, us to the travel lot. sent in by Patrick Joseph at McMopat. Hey, hey buddy. Yeah. Here's the headline. Squirrel shooter, squirrel shooter arrested after bullet breaks child's window. This is just every choice this person made was Wait, terrible. why are you shooting at squirrels? People do it. Their squirrel season in Illinois is right before deer season. Uh, you like practice. Right before both yeah, season starts. Practice. My rule on this is um, squirrels can be easily deterred, in my opinion, uh, if you're worried about bird feeding and plants and stuff like that. Also, if you're going to shoot it, you better fucking eat it. You better eat it. That's better, my rule. You better be on the show alone. Here's a, here, we get a, there's also, a, a back to, there's a back to, uh, uh, crumpled old recipes from my great grandma. We pull it out squirrel whenever we recipes? kill a squirrel. Yeah. What yeah. kind? You, you ever try? Box. You ever try squirrel pie? <laughs> it's so good. How's it? Squirrel soup. It's so soup. good. I, I just fun. dust it with That's a little fun bit of tail. to put some of that in there. Soup over there. A <laughs> little bit You're of gonna tail. You're going to just skim the hair right off the top. I skim the hair right off the top. You make a little brush. Dan, you know that's the only impression I do. Uh, you what? guys do great impressions. The impression I do that cracks my daughter up is Chicago guy learning to dab for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get this straight. I just dab it over there like that. That's, very, that's pretty And good. then I dab it over there. <laughs> she thinks that's the funniest it thing. It is funny. Well. That's a great Chris Farley character. Yeah, kind of. Damn, Damn it over here. here. All right. All right. So uh, in East Grand Forks, Minnesota, a Minnesota man mm-hmm. is facing criminal charges because he was shooting at a squirrel and a bullet went through a child's oh, bedroom geez, window. I didn't and throw that over yeah. there. I you realize you have neighbors, right? Right. You don't shoot no, There's your no gun. shooting range where they're like, and then past this shooting range, like actually immediately. You is don't know a how house. far the property line <laughs> <It's> is. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this case many times. Look, they <laughs> up put in Minnetonka. Yeah. Uh, many times. Way down in Moose Lake. I've seen it happen. You were the governor. You know, it's, it's, I was the governor. And you not governed. only that, I was the mayor of Brooklyn Park. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> East Grand Force Police say they arrested a man Sunday after his neighbor reported some bullet holes in the siding of their home and a hole in the window of their son's Holy bedroom. Shit. Oh, my God. Dude, that's scary. The man told officers he had been watching ball games on television. So Oddly clearly he's vague. not a sports fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah which, which ball games? Ball you know, games. the ball team that I'm a big fan of. Uh, the sports you sound like you're from another team. world on, on television. Anytime it says that I was watching ball games on television, that's when you look to see if that's It's an like when... You could have said the ball game. I was TV, watching the ball game. On television. On The Simpsons. When, and a, pu- when a poo said the nine... What if you have a multiplex of screens? <laughs> <laughs> look, I understand it's a hastily slapped together story, but if it holds water, I've got to drink out It'll of the float. cup. <laughs> Uh, television and noticed a squirrel on his bird feeder. Dan, you're right. Same. Squirrel on the bird feeder. According to the police, he told... I can't o- believe that animal who God doesn't understand squirrel. logic. <laughs> yeah. That so animal he, that doesn't understand logic is going after the food I left out. I can't believe I don't get it. You, that's Fucking not... idiots. And you know he shouted from his window. That's not for you. <laughs> like he'd understand that's, it. Get off the goddamn... Perfect. And then he started perfect. looking for the gun. Where is my living <laughs> that's a, room that's gun? That's a Dan Van Kirk observation. That's not for you. Maybe that's why I loved it so he much. He wants some. 
right. That's not for you. He, he wants some. I'm All right. Uh, he told officers he shot a 22 caliber rifle from his bedroom Fucking window at the idiot. squirrel. My guess is he didn't even open the window. Just yeah, shot he it shattered his window. own window from inside. At the squirrel, he believed he hit the animal. He told officers he had shot squirrels at least six times over the past two years because he considered it. This is where you kind of know the psychology. Ready? Mm-hmm. This is where he says this line and you know exactly where he is. Okay. Because he considered it quote war when they got into his bird feeder so this guy is now just, declaring war just tell on me squirrel. you're divorced <laughs> you're, you're, you're not Without gonna see you. it the way i see it i got these <laughs> there's these these squirrels they come in waves they come in packs there's a whole invasion of these damn squirrels some of them ground squirrels some of them flying squirrels yeah. and let me tell you these neighbors i feel for them i didn't mean to shoot out the window but they don't know how far back it goes because i had new neighbors every six months Listen, going back 12 years there's gonna be casualties in war right. Look, that's just yeah he's like he's like you know what when the squirrels come for their house they're gonna want me yeah you they're gonna me. want me you on that wall me on that bird feeder yeah, yeah. you want me you, on that you bird call feeder. me the window breaker until you need that window broken because the squirrels come for you with their rabies first, first the squirrels came for my neighbors and i didn't shoot anything and then they came for my front lawn and still i didn't shoot they anything got, they got into his bird feeder according to the door down. this to me is you want to know? So he's married. That's a bird feeder. So he's married. The man's wife said to him, well, I told you. Oh, wow. He is married. Well, well I, I told, told you. you. This is in the story. Yeah, she's always saying things like that. <laughs> she's always going on. Look, you know, she's up. She's upstairs. We live in a big, dumb house. She's upstairs on the fourth floor. In, her, be- in her bedroom. And you, had, you don't have kids. Fourth floor. In, the, in, in her bedroom. Moved out. <laughs> yeah. And she was only seven. State took her away. State, yeah, she, she moved out. So she didn't was, really move out. She was yeah, taken moved out does her own All thing right. <laughs> the man's charge is recklessly uh handling a dangerous weapon a misdemeanor and a felony count of discharging a firearm within the municipality he faces up to how many years in prison for He's doing this He's not gonna go to jail and what's the fine that may be he will probably be cut in half i would say he faces up to two years in prison uh-huh. and the fine is five hundred dollars okay what do you think discharging a firearm within the municipality I think the max is like 10 years in prison fine. with a $2,000 fine. Jay, what do you think? Six, uh, five, year, five years in prison? Did you say five? You said two. 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 Five years in prison with a $5,000 fine. Okay. One of you got the years in prison right, and one of you got the fine right. Do you want to change? Does anybody want to change? Does anybody no, want to change? I'm, I'm going to say $5,000 fine, 10 years in prison. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Get your answers in, townies, because... Two years in prison, oh, $5,000 fine. Yeah! Damn, you just would have stayed with the I one. Swi- hey, I switched, to, I switched to half for a half. Okay, now it's this half is right the best. Right. Now we've, and James has done such a good job of portraying this man and giving him a voice. Breathing life. Your Honor, I don't have, <laughs> Your Honor, if, if, I, if I'm deprived of two, two years of my life's work, who's going to provide for my family? We what survive is, on squirrel meat. What is your life's work again? Can you I tell? I made my pillow. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I stuff them full of the squirrel tails and we <laughs> survive on the meat. I got 500 lawsuits already, Your Wait, Honor. I heard uh, my... I'm Mr. a good man. Mr. Lindell, I heard that you were actually selling off some of your factory equipment and an entire factory. Is that really happening? We're selling it all off. All the pillow factory. We're selling... <laughs> <laughs> we're putting everything away. The the, the cotton pressers. We're get, we got we got pillowcase trucks. We got trucks with the pillowcases still in them. Still in the truck. We got a couple of Care Bear slave laborers. We're getting rid of them. It's a fire selling, sale on the Care Bears. What, I, I hang on a second. You're selling people? I don't think they're not tra- people. They're, they're Care, Care Bears. Bears. Come on now. It's a bear. You got to come. Come on now, Jason. You got to <laughs> Randy, Randy, Randy. That's, that's actually Randy. Randy. That was That's Randy. Randy. <laughs> uh, wait. So, uh, so how, yeah. we're going to get out of here on this. Okay. How old is... Let's call him your pillow. Sure. Your pillow squirrel shooter. How old is he? 74 years old. 59. Uh, he's, uh, he's 62. One of you is two years off. Oh, he's 72. 57. He's 64. Get your answer is in townies. James Adomian. Go once he gets his website rolling. Now we've lit a fire on him. Oh, it's going to happen. happen. And that Elysia show is happening regardless. 914. 914. 914. 914. You're going to be at the Elysian. And on 1111, you're going to be at the Lincoln Lodge. At the Lincoln Lodge. Watching two great tapings this fall. Of two great uh, specials that taste great together. All right, here you go. We're getting out of here on this. Shot through the, the squirrel feeder. Thought it was a war. Hit a neighbor's bed. Son's window. Cracked it. And all blew it Two years. $5,000. Is. 76 years old. Oh, Dad, you almost Daniel. got it. 
Uh, what, a, what a fun oh, time, Daniel. James. We love having you on the show. And uh, thank you, Townies. Join our Patreon. Uh, go follow us on all socials. Yeah. And oh, shit, we got to get back to work. Bye. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town.